The star of today's show, the Agtros, and the new guide plates to be installed. Start by taking off the old guide plates. Wear gloves for this job. Because the semi-trailer is greased, this grease also gets onto the guide plates. So clean the guide plates with a cloth. This makes access to the screws easier. With suitable tools, remove the guide plate screws. There are six screws per plate. Once you've removed all the screws, take the guide plates and put them aside. Grease and dirt still remains on the bearing surface. Clean this before mounting the new guide plates. Remove the grease and dirt with a cloth. To get the joints clean, use suitable tools. Use a wire brush to get off the last of the dirt. Go over the bearing surface one last time with a cloth. Now it's ready for the installation. You receive the new maintenance free guide plates from the number on screen. Maintenance free means that the guide plates must not be greased when installed. Also, greasing when in operation is not necessary. The part set contains a guide plate and six screws, so order two part sets. In the next step, screw both guide plates to the bearing surface. Tighten the screws hand tight. Then use a ratchet. For the last step, use a torque wrench and tighten with 10 newton meters. Tighten the 12 screws and with that both guide plates are installed. One more tip. After you've exchanged the guide plates, check the assembly plate for visible defects. Exchange this if necessary. You get a new assembly plate from improved materials with the following new part number.